Hi, this is Shallon Day with Bible Journaling Ministries Creative Team. And today I want to show you how to use acrylic paints and glitter acrylic paints, as well as stickable gemstones from the Dollar Tree to create a fun and very blingy Bible journaling entry. So if you're ready, let's go. Okay, so as we get started, we will be using the kit called Renewed Daily, and it is 2 Corinthians 4.16, and we will be adding bling to our Bible journaling entry with this, and I love bling. As far as I'm concerned, you can't ever have too much, so... <laughs> This is a three-page kit. I have printed it off on white sticker paper and cut it out with my silhouette. This first page has our focus verse and margin element or bookmark. And the verse says, Therefore we don't faint, but though our outward person is decaying, yet our inward person is renewed day by day. Praise the Lord for that. So your first page has macaroon cookies tied with a bow, uh, slippers, a fuzzy heart pillow, some girls having breakfast, looks like breakfast in bed, a pillow that says good morning, you have your alarm clock and a donut, your crosses and some washi tape as well. On the second page of this kit, you have your Faith Dex cards, flags, a little notebook, a donut and some coffee, some flowers, and some more girls having breakfast in bed, along with a beautiful pink fountain pen, some crosses, and more washi tape. On the third page, you have your larger elements, two ladies having breakfast in bed, some different florals, a smaller little fuzzy pink pillow, some crosses, and larger words, I am renewed day by day. So what I wanted to start with is I am going to be using some acrylic paints. Now, as you can see, this kit does have like a fuchsia color and I didn't have that in my acrylic paint collection. So I made some and I used Americana multi-surface acrylic paint in eggplant and I added the eggplant little by little to my color Pantone acrylic paint in lilac rose until I achieved the fuchsia color that I wanted. Now I'm also going to be using the My Color Pantone glitter in candy pink for my background as well as Americana multi-surface acrylic paint in coffee bean. Now I'm just going to spread this on my Bible page using a gift card, an old gift card or um, an old debit card, anything that you want to spread paint with, feel free to use. And I will be using my She Reads Truth Bible with something under my page just to protect the back side. And I am going to just spread my paint. Now I am going to be starting with my fuchsia because I have mixed it and I don't want it to dry but first let's cover our verse with washi tape just so that we can come back and highlight it when our page is finished because I am going to cover the whole page in acrylic paint and then I will show you what we're going to do to add some bling. Now, using a glittered acrylic paint, it's going to have some bling in it to begin with. So, that we start out with some bling, so that is fun. And while I am getting my, my verse covered with washi tape, I would like to encourage you and remind you that if you are new to the channel, please 
click the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on that bell for notifications so you always are up to date with our newest videos from the channel. Also, share it with your friends. We love to have new people in our Bible journaling family here with Bible Journaling Ministries. So be sure to click like, click subscribe, turn that bell on for notifications, and share it with people. Share, share, share. Okay, so I have covered my verse. Now I'm going to start spreading my paint just with an old debit card. And I'm going to pick up my fuchsia paint here because, like I said, I don't want it to dry um, because I may not ever get the same <laughs> shade again being as I had to mix my colors. So I'm just going to spread some color. And you can go any direction that you would like. Be sure to play with your colors if you are mixing acrylic paints um, before you go to spread it just to make sure it's exactly what you want. Now I'm going to put down this glitter candy pink Pantone My Color Acrylic Craft Paint and it already has um, glitter. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has glitter in it and so that makes it easy and fun. So I'm just going to squirt some out here on my page or on my plate and then just pick up a little bit. So when it dries, you get this soft pink, but then you get the glitter as well. And you could layer this over a darker color because it is transparent, but you get the glitter. So layered over that and then we'll be able to see that glitter and bling make sure that your darker colors are dry and you can kind of leave it a little thicker I think I'm gonna add some more because I love the glitter it just it makes me happy <laughs> so uh, I'm going to add some more Use some more glitter paint here and add some more now I'm not sure where I got this glitter acrylic paint I have a few different colors I'm going to say you could probably find it on Amazon but I'm not completely sure and it may have been something that my mother was getting rid of, and so I just brought it home. <laughs> um, so I'm, gonna, I'm just smearing that even over the darker, the fuchsia color, because it's got the glitter in it, and I just think it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to use my coffee bean color, um, the Americana Multi-Surface. And I'm just going to do that lightly over just to add a little bit of contrast and it matches what is in the kit as far as the elements go so let me let this dry and then um, I will be right back okay so my my pinks are dry so now I'm going to use my coffee bean and I think I'm just going to use my finger instead of my card because I don't want too much of the brown okay so I'm going to I cleaned my plate off and I'm going to just use a little bit of this brown I don't want much and I am going to use my finger just to add in 
some of the brown. So I'm just going to work that around on my plate. And then I'm just going to take my finger to add just a little bit. just as because it has the elements do have some brown browns in them so as you can see it's not very dark and I'm just adding it sort of around or on top of the darker pink I did a little bit here over the glitter You could use a lighter, maybe a, a um, like a, a beige if you wanted to. But I'm doing it so lightly that even over the glitter, the glitter is still coming through. So that's a good thing. I just wanted this as sort of a contrast. And I'm going in different directions. And as I'm rubbing over my page, it's becoming lighter. And as you can see here, it sort of went over the glitter just a little bit. So it adds a little bit of texture as well. I'm just going in some of the places that don't have any of the pink as well. Okay. So I'll set this off to the side. And now I'm going to just get my elements. Now we are going to add more bling once we get our elements and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. So these are little stickers that I found at the Dollar Tree and they're like little gemstones but there's a light pink and then um, a silver and we're going to add these to our page after we get our elements down as well to add more bling. But these are so versatile and so pretty and they do have some sparkle to them so i love to use those in my bible journaling so let's get our so i'm going to go ahead and lift up my washi I'm going to go ahead and lift that up and then I can come back and highlight my verse there. So I'm going to start with my tab. And again, I always fold it on itself to crease. and then add it to my page and then I have that crease so that I know where to fold it there and because I have my page protector my little cutting mat back here then I know I'm not uh, getting a second page on here so that is a good thing and I think I want to use these larger elements I just they're just so pretty so I'm going to use this girl here I'm just going to put her at the bottom
These are such cute elements. She's got a little cheerio on her nose. <laughs> so maybe this is her wall behind her of her bedroom. How fun. I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And I'm just using a Zebra Midliner Double-Ended Highlighter in pink. Therefore, we do not give up. Even though our outer port person is being destroyed, our inner person is being renewed day by day. Thank you, Father, for that. Okay. So I have that highlighted. Now I'm definitely not going to put anything over that. I could have waited and left my washi tape, but I just wanted to bring that bring that washi tape up. So I'm going to use I'm going to use the larger type. I am renewed. Day by day. Now if you can see my cut on this with my silhouette, it, it left some of the white above. So I'm just going to take some scissors and just trim that off to remove that white space. Okay. And I'm going to lay this on top like that. I am renewed day by day. And I want to use this big fuzzy pink heart pillow. It is so cute. And I'm just going to put it over here to the side in contrast for that. And let's use the alarm clock as well. And as I'm doing this, I am reminded that the Lord's mercies are new every morning. So I'm going to put the little clock here. And it does hang off just a little bit, and that's okay. It's not going to be too much there. And I think I'm going to use some of these flowers. just as add-ins. A little decor on my page. Me over, over here where we have the verse highlighted so as not to cover the verse just to sort of accentuate the verse. like this. And then I think I'm going to use from the second page this smaller saucer and cup of coffee and donut. 
right up here. Yes, like that. Now I'm going to grab the crosses that are on all three pages. And just add them in. in various places across the page. So then I'm able to tie in the colors that I used in the background by having them, because they were my inspiration for the colors that I chose. I am going to use the washi that has the bowls of cereal from the first page and I'm just going to put it along here around, along my tab but not to cover any of my words there and I'm only going to bring it down to my alarm clock. Use my scissors and cut it off. There we go. Yes, that is adorable. I'm going to use this cute good morning pillow as well. Put it over here. Now, uh, on this good morning pillow, I'm going to write my cross reference to Psalm 30 verses 22 and 23. That is where it says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So I am just going to take my pit pen, my favorite Castell pit pen, and I'm going to write on the bottom of this Psalm 30, 22 and 23. So that when I am studying and I'm reminded of the verse that we're focusing on about I am renewed day by day, I can also be reminded that Psalm 30, 22, and 23 tells me that his mercies are new every morning. Thank you, Jesus, for that. So I'm going to take this smaller washi, the polka dot, And I'm just going to put this along the, the bottom edge of my page. Like, just like a bottom border. And then I can just take my scissors and cut that right off. Okay. This is such a pretty page. We're going to add some more bling because we can't ever have too much bling. <laughs> now these st sticky gemstones from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar 25 tree, they actually come in strips. So you can see so this is a smaller strip because I cut it off. You can use your scissors and, and just cut these to the desired length. You could use them individually. Um, but they come in long strips. And I'll just pop, I'll just take this off so you can see what I mean. And 
Again, I think these are always available at Dollar Tree. They're not like a seasonal thing. So now I have this long string. If I wanted to use it that way, I have a shorter string or I can cut them to use them individually. So I'm going to place this back down on here. And I am going to cut mine and use them individually. So you just take your scissors and cut in between. And now I just have the one. And so I'm just going to place these around my page. And I'm going to use the silver as well. But I'm just going to get started with the pink. And I'm just going to use these like I would any other element to add some texture, to add the bling to my page. Now, if you wanted to use these as a border, you most certainly could do that as well. Like I did my washi here at the bottom. You could use them as sort of a washi that is sparkly. So as you can see, I've just added just a few of those pink gemstones and they are they just stick right down like a like a sticker. So let's get some of these silver and use them as well. And as you can see, I already have a strip that I have used some off of. So I'm just going to pull that up. And that's interesting. One of these is actually clear and not silver. So added bonus in that pack. <laughs> that it's clear and not it doesn't have that silver tone to it. But I am going to use that anyway. Let's add these to the pillow. The corners of the pillow. And again, these, they have these in so many different colors at the Dollar Tree. And they are super versatile, easy to use, and very affordable. Let's move this pink guy here because I want to put my other silver one on the corner of that pillow. And I've added little blingy corners to my good morning pillow. And let's just add a couple more of these around the page. So we've used glitter acrylic paints and Dollar Tree stickable, cuttable gemstones. We've used our washi that we had in the packet. I am just, this, this one little clear one huh, makes me laugh. Okay, now we have a beautiful page with a glittery, soft glittery background, and then we used our stickable gemstones and used our pillow to be able to give us another verse to remind us about what happens every single day while we are being renewed. God's mercies are new every day. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up we talked earlier about hitting that subscribe button and the bell for notifications and share share our channel we love to we love to have new people and we love our family that we have on youtube and facebook 
in the beginners community. So if you haven't checked us out over there, be sure to come and join us there as well. And I will see you soon. I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye!